What's good about the Backfire G2T? I think it's a good value. It comes with 83mm wheels and also 96mm wheels. Having the two sizes actually comes in handy. If you want maximum performance, like in terms of acceleration, then use the smaller wheels. If you want a slightly more comfortable ride but less torque, then you can use the bigger wheels. The G2T also comes with that Backfire Canon headlight, which I don't use because the way that it mounts on the board is you put it on top of the front truck, but I like to put my foot there sometimes so I don't use this light. But there's no reason why you can't just hold it in your hand. I mean, it looks perfectly fine as a flashlight, and it's really bright. The new remote looks pretty nice. I think it matches the enclosures pretty well, and it shows your current speed and also the uh, trip meter and odometer. You can also see how much battery is left on the board and also on the remote. The new PU sleeves are a good upgrade. I haven't had any vibration issues, haven't had any weird sounds coming from them. And I think they feel better on the road also, like there's less road vibration. The wheels are gray, so they don't become yellowish like the white wheels on the G2S. I think the range that I got was pretty good considering the temperature outside. But most importantly, the brakes are really good and good brakes is way more important than good acceleration. You never really have to emergency accelerate, but you do need to emergency brake. On the prototype, the brakes were just terrible. It was so soft, but on the final version, the brakes are quite strong. Like, it's not just strong, it's it's strong and controllable. Like, if you want to brake gently, you can still brake gently, but if you want to brake really hard, you can easily brake really hard, and that's the way it should be. Overall, this board is pretty good, so what could be better on the G2T? Well, the most obvious obvious thing to me is the turbo mode. It's a bit underwhelming. I mean, look at the button for the turbo mode. It's literally a danger <gasps> sign. So you would think that when you use it, it feels dangerous, but it really doesn't. It does feel a bit faster than the sport mode, but you know, it's not, it's not, it's not a huge difference. At least for me, it's not a huge difference. Other reviewers, I don't know, they might feel differently, but me personally, I didn't feel like it was a huge difference. For example, I was out with my friend the other day and he has the Inertion Raptor. When you ride the Backfire G2T and then you ride the Raptor, there's a huge difference, all right? When you get on the Raptor, that thing is just insane. Like you can feel a huge difference there. But if you compare the G2T sport mode and the turbo mode, the difference is really not that big. I mean, if you're trying to notice a difference, you will notice a difference. And there is a difference in the top speed, but I don't know, I just feel like the turbo mode is it wasn't what I expected. The battery indicator on the remote is not very accurate, or at least it's not very intuitive, but it's kind of bad in a good way because when you see that you have low power, you actually have more power than what's shown on the indicator. But of course, it's better if it's more accurate. That's about it. Everything else is kind of just personal preference stuff. Like for example, I don't really like the giant logo on the grip tape. And also the logo on the bottom side is an oval. It's not round. It's been an oval ever since the G2. <laughs> they, they never bothered to fix that. I don't really like the location of the reverse switch, but I don't really use reverse that often. So I don't really have a lot of complaints about this board actually. Overall, I think it's pretty good. I, I wish it were more like the boosted board, but you know, there is a huge price difference. Like I said before, overall, I think it's a really good value. If this video was helpful, please give it a... Thumbs up.